All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I'm doing another TikTok hack. Uh, it's a Five Guys hack now. So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you see is try. Things you see is cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for our nourishments of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so uh all right so the hack is you get a grilled cheese and you add a burger patty and then whatever else you want to add i think people was adding like grilled onions mushroom no grilled onions jalapeno bacon which i hope they put my bacon they did okay um and it's supposed to be like really good okay and basically what they do is they take the burger bun and they flip it over and grill it or whatever which i wonder if they toast the that maybe they just don't toast the buns already i don't know but anywho same dude that i got that um the other one from um he had stitched somebody else who said this all right so anywho um now my silly self when i went there i ordered on the app right um already in my mind i had <coughs> negativity in my mind because it was funny because he was talking about how like it don't matter what you do everything is a 30 minute wait at five guys right uh, i have so I ordered on the app. I left them know I was there, and I was—I don't even know how long I was sitting in this restaurant after my order was ready, and I didn't know. <laughs> the girl was nice enough to make me some fresh fries, though. I really appreciated her for doing that. But she was just like, "Yeah, next time, just let us know." Mm-hmm. I thought I wouldn't. It doesn't seem like nothing was ready. Like I didn't see no bags like waiting, so I was just like, "Oh, okay. Well, I guess I ain't ready yet." So I sat down. I was watching more TikTok. And she was like, ma'am, are you waiting on a pickup order? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel bad. I feel, I feel bad having my burger. Well, okay. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. So, first of all, I mean, five guy burgers are really good anyway. Now, what I don't think he did was, I don't think he put, like, sauce on his. I could date that to, like, really, really get the grilled cheese effect, but it's really good. Um, I got, I just got a single. I didn't even think to get a, a double patty. Um, I'll put onions, bacon, mayo, and barbecue sauce. And I actually did put a good amount of barbecue sauce. Cause y'all know the last time I went to, the last couple times I've gone to Five Guys. I'll be having to look for the dang on barbecue sauce. Also, when I was in Five Guys, I witnessed the most ghetto job interview I've ever witnessed in my life. This lady posted to be the manager, okay? This girl. First, I think the girl who was interviewing was waiting for a while for them to come, for the interviewer to come back in the building. I don't, I want to know. I want to say maybe she wasn't there. I don't really know because she had came in the building, but then when she had went back out, I don't know if it was to take a phone call or what. But um, her car was on the side of the building. But anywho, okay. <laughs> she interviewed the girl, basically in the middle of the dang old restaurant. Like people who going up to get their orders from the counter can definitely like be a part of the interview. Okay. And then, uh,
So I don't know. I couldn't hear. I wasn't close enough to hear whatever the questions were or whatever. But then she goes outside. And when she comes back in, she was definitely on Instagram. Okay. Looking, reading a message and then responded to the, or was responding to the message as she's sitting down. <laughs> My bad, I'm a little nosy, and I could see what she was doing on her phone. But I also was just, I was just looking at her in general because I was just so flabbergasted, okay? <laughs> that this was a job interview. Then, um, she goes outside because somebody calls her, okay? I don't know if it's some, I think it's another manager, maybe at another store. I don't know if it's another five guys, but what may, leads me to believe that it was a manager is because she said when she came, was coming back in while still on the phone with this person, she uh, was talking about, man, you got 30 employees. She's like, I wish I had 20. Um. So anywho, when she gets the phone call, after she came back in the building, I don't know what, you know, I don't know sit down. She was on the Instagram and somebody called her. She went outside. And she was like, hold on, God, you know. She go outside and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone. But like, we could all see her or whatever. And the, and the little candidate girl was just sitting there. Now, luckily, she wasn't like. She wasn't like, you know, uh young unsuspecting like kid or nothing like that i mean she looked to be an adult a young adult i don't even know y'all it was just so ghetto and then uh and then so she come when she goes outside she's like doing this whenever whoever to the whoever the person that um like wasn't arguing just like you know throwing up you know what i'm saying like gang gang like what's up you know what i'm saying to my to her people She come back in the building and she's still on the phone. Uh, I think the person asked her about the person she was interviewing or she had an interview. She was like, yeah, she right here. And put the girl on the damn camera. She was on FaceTime with this person. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. She was on a video phone call with whomever called her, right? Because that's clearly that's why she's, you know, gang gang while she went outside. She not she turned the camera to the to the phone to the interview candidate. Now my I'm gonna forget, but also right now my curiosity wants me to go back up there. After a while and see if that girl took that job, cause ain't no way she ain't getting it. I know what. And the chick already said she only she ain't got. She barely got 20 employees, so. She need her. I don't know if that girl need that job or not, but uh, it's just funny. <laughs> Definitely like no job interview I've ever been on. And you know what? Let me not say, I don't even know if it was an official job interview or if she just came and asked some questions. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. But it was something and it was ghetto. <laughs> and you know, I can't believe this is going on on my side of town. Cause I live in a bougie area. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's pretty bougie up here. I live in the Polaris area. Uh, I mean, we got well, yeah, we got a couple malls. One of them is just off the pasture. It's not good. It's that mall is sad. Uh -huh. The other one is a good one. Really good, nice indoor slash outdoor malls, got all type of stuff. 
but um, the one that I live near, well, cannot really say that Polaris is more bougier than Easton because, I mean, I think probably the most upscale-ish store, if you will, in Polaris is probably Von Muir. But at East End, um, it's a Tiffany store. Uh, I think there's some other higher end stores up at East End. I don't know if I made it up about it being a, a Louis Vuitton store there. Mm -hmm. However, um, Polaris is in the better area, though. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. The Polaris is in a better, the Polaris Mall is in a better area, and it's definitely people, not me. Okay, I'm not people. But people up this way got money. It's not me, okay? I literally got lucky with my house. Um, I got it right before they started going crazy with the prices in my neighborhood. And I probably, you know, really only got lucky because they probably was just ready to sell, like, It was a, um, as my realtor was telling me, kind of like a relationship went bad or whatever. And they needed to sell. And at first they, at first they, now nah, what they originally put the house on the market for, they probably, they could have sold it in this market. Like how the prices are now. And after I, after I brought, bought my house, houses start going for that much. But at the time that I bought my house, they couldn't, they, they, they tried it. They definitely tried it. Because the houses wasn't even worth that much back then. But obviously, it's a seller's market and like people was, I mean, I think it's probably definitely even worse now. But, you know, people were doing outrageous stuff trying to win bids on houses. I mean, like waiving inspections, taking it as is, um... Offering them like so much money cash, cash down. Offering to let them stay there for uh, multiple months. Paying they, paying like for them to stay somewhere else so they can move in. Like, I mean, the stories I've heard about like people winning bids and stuff is crazy. And then, you know, it's a whole bunch of investors too out here that got cash money or whatever. So the market crazy for real. Um, and even still, with the interest, interest rates being as high as they are right now, that's another thing. I'm so glad that I got in when I did because interest rates crazy right now. But I guess they did that to try and slow it down. But yeah, they had listed it for like $19,000 over what it was worth at the time my house um that's when they had listed it by the time i got to it that had came down like ten thousand dollars from where they had listed it and then um i talked them down another what eight thousand dollars <laughs> because they by the time i got to it had been on the market for a month and i'm just like oh bet because okay sorry about that my camera storage is full i had to delete delete some videos um Um, yeah, so by the time I, um, by 
I'm not saying. Dang it, I lost my damn train of thought. Um, okay, so they got, it had been on, I don't even know where I left off at. They had got, that the market, it had been on the house or the market for a month and I'm like, okay, well. They probably are like will definitely accept whatever I give them as, at this point because it's been on there for a month and they ain't accepting nobody's offers or whatever and they had to keep coming down on the price. So that just let me know like, okay, I can, you know, negotiate some stuff. And now my realtor at first, she was like, she wasn't, um, she almost wasn't on board with me offering them less than asking. Or maybe I was trying to offer less than what she thought would be good. So she like did some numbers and came up with a with a price that she felt that they might accept or whatever, which was um, seven thousand less than what it was listed for. But then when the appraisal came back, it appraised for two thousand less than what I offered. So we split the difference or whatever, and they give gave a thousand. I did. I gave a thousand or whatever. Um, and so I ended up with um, it, um, what eight thousand dollars less than what. It was listed for um and eighteen thousand dollars less than what they originally listed it for but like i said once after i bought my house houses in in the air in the neighborhood start going for as much as over what they what they originally listed it for so i'm glad that i got in when i did um so many have sold, so many people have sold since I moved here. It's been, I've had quite a few different pairs of neighbors. It's kind of funny though, like Gavin, Gavin been making, made friends with like all the people in the neighborhood and stuff like that. Like, um, and not even like the adults or whatever. Like, uh, he's like, yeah, oh yeah, I know who that person is. They got, they drive this car. I'm like, Gavin, how do you know that? And Gavin's just so friendly. He's such a personal, per personable person. He's a little meat, but I think he might be he, he might be friendlier than me, honestly. <laughs> and I know that's pretty hard to, to do. <laughs> um, so what else? How did I even get through? Oh, I was I guess I was talking about these folks having money up this way. And but I ain't got it. Listen, I got lucky, okay? Like I said, I'm grateful for what I did. And a lot of stuff, like my my house wasn't as upgraded as a lot of the other houses that started selling too. Like I do not, I have, I don't know. I feel like my square footage is way less than a lot of these houses around here. I didn't even realize it. And like a lot of stuff like is kind of old and out, not old and outdated, but old. Like my countertops aren't like, you know, marble or whatever. They're probably the ones that came with the house. My cabinets are probably definitely the ones that came with the house. I, I do want to do something with those. I said that I would, um, I want to get my countertops. I want to just change the countertops. I'll, I'll keep the cabinets, but, and just put some hardware on because I don't have hardware on my cabinets. And then my basement isn't finished. Um, like I said, I I have like I don't have as many bedrooms or square footage as a lot of the other houses in the neighborhood. So I guess I could understand why mine didn't go. Or, you know, I I'm grateful because these were all like, you know, leveraged leveraging things for me to be able to get where I am. And I'm like I, I'm truly, truly blessed as far as like the house hunting process goes. I did not have that much of a headache with it as my siblings did. Um and even friends like there's this girl at work. She is still looking for a house and I feel like we talked in the summer, the middle of the summer um last year and she's still looking but she's only looking in one place though because that she wants it, a house in where she grew up and stuff like that which i'm sure could prove to be pretty difficult and stuff like that um 
my right my my area wasn't well yeah i guess i wanted to stay up in this area that i'm in or whatever but i wasn't like too too limited in that i just needed it to be a good school district because that's I, and schooling is important for me especially having went to a failing school or matriculated from a failing school district myself i knew that i didn't i wanted my kids to have the best resources that i could possibly provide um and like the city like columbus city schools are is a failing school district and i just was not gonna do that now there are obviously gems or you know what's it called diamonds in the rough um and i feel like i did get lucky with my schooling or at least with the high school that i went to and that it still was a pretty good high school you know granted um and i feel like i you know it afforded me an opportunity to get a full ride to um school or whatever um but yeah i don't know it's just a lot to it's a lot okay so listen my kids are already gonna be faced with a lot of challenges in this world and i would love for schooling to um i wanted what am i trying to say schooling to not like be a hindrance or an issue or whatever for them because they're going to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm about to start rambling. We know. So on that note, I'm going to peace out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try. Things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And also, I want to let y'all know, in case y'all were wondering, that that coffee did not keep me up last night. I don't drink coffee for, I just like the taste of it if I do, especially iced coffee. And if I drink hot coffee, it's because I'm cold. Like, but it does not give me any sort of energy boost or anything. That stuff does not work on me. Five hour energies, that don't work. Red Bulls pop, it don't work. Like, it don't work, okay? Uh, So yeah, so now that I, well, I already knew that that was gonna happen, but. You know, like I'm not a person. Like some people be like, oh, if I drink coffee too late in the afternoon, then they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be able to go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep. My body is going to go to sleep. It does not care, okay? It doesn't care. But all I like to say, I said that because I'm gonna make me another one. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I didn't want to turn off.